All right, I'm going to have you guess what type of alcohol each green jack reaction will produce. Okay, so if you look at the mechanism, the first one, so start with ketone. So this car this uh, carbon carbon already have two methyl groups on it. If this were to be an alcohol, let's say this were to be an alcohol, this is, this would be a secondary alcohol, correct? So two alkyl group on the alpha position. If, if, if it were to be an alcohol, all right. Now, what does Green Yard do? Green Yard will add another alkyl group onto it. So you're gonna have two methyl groups which are already there, already there, and an another um, uh, alkyl groups on its carbon. What type of carbon is this? Oh, sorry. What type of alcohol is this? Tertiary alcohol. Okay. Let's do aldehyde. All right. Aldehyde. This uh, carbonyl carbon is already have one carbon on it. If this guy were to be an alcohol, we're gonna call them a primary alcohol, right? Because alpha carbon got one carbon on it. Now, what does Grignard do? Grignard gonna add another alkyl group on it. What type of alcohol you, are you gonna get? To get secondary alcohol. Yeah. All right, one more time, last one. <clears throat> so, uh, this product is primary alcohol. I got primary alcohol. What does the starting material look like? Should it be? Should there be an alkyl group on the carbonyl carbon? No, it should not have. This is prim primary. So the green yard is going to add one this alkyl group onto that carbonyl carbon. So right there. So itself, the carbonyl carbon should not have any uh, any carbon on it. So the smallest aldehyde is called formaldehyde. All right. So this tell you <clears throat> you can uh, synthesize tertiary, secondary, primary alcohol based on. Um, the reactant that you're using, the starting material. If you want to use tertiary, well, three uh, alkyl groups on it. So find something that already have two and add one more by the green yard. So ketone. Uh, secondary alcohol, want to have uh, two alkyl groups on it. The green yard can add one more. So the starting material needs to have only one, can have two or, or more. Right, and the last one, uh, the green yard gonna add the last, uh, the only one alkyl group on it. So before the reaction happen, this carbonyl carbon cannot have any alkyl group on it, basically. All right. Okay, this is how we can use it. So how do we synthesize this guy? First of all, this is tertiary uh, alkyl halide, correct? This is tertiary. No, so tertiary alcohol alkyl halide. Jesus Christ, <laughs> this is tertiary alcohol. Um, got, got three alkyl groups on it which means that you have to make this guy from ketone and add one more alkyl group on, the, uh, on it using Green Yard reagent, okay? So you have to start from the ketone. Ketone got uh, two alkyl groups on it. So how many ways you can make this compound? Well, this is how we do it. So if I can cut this bond, so I can make, the, can make this compound from this. So propyl pro methyl on it and then attacked by uh, the phenyl Green Yard. Okay, so my synthesis is gonna look something like that. So add a green yard and then work up at the end or quench at the end. Or I can cut this bond right there. Yep. So I can make this compound from a propyl and from the phenyl already on the carbonyl carbon. Look at that. And then I add a methyl on it. Okay, so I add, then I add a methyl group on it. So I should get something like that. And lastly, um, I can also, I can, I'm going to cut the, bo the propyl bond right here. So I can make this compound from, we call acetophenone, this guy right here, this acetophenone. Adding a pro propyl, not build it, just one, two, three, four, just build it. That's wrong. Supposed to have three carbon here. So, uh, okay, anyway, so suppose that this is uh, uh, propyl grignard. So propyl grignard is going to attack there. And you're going to get that product there. Yeah, that's a synthesis. So there are multiple ways to make one compound. Depends on how you look at it. All right. <clears throat> All right. Class activity number three. You have to be familiar with the mechanism and how to synthesize, how to use Grignard reagent. Okay. So question one, two, and three. And uh, what else we got? Yep. That's a that's a key. The answer. All right. <clears throat> 